Good day. I have a question to ask. Have you ever been fascinated or intrigued by how possible is it that in the long, long history of time and billion chaptered series on the planet, humans are only considered to be the last word in the last page? Hmm. Come to think of it. Players of frogs determine various generations of species' own time of occurrence. Or perhaps we can mention that the layers help determine their time in the historical sequence of life. Interesting, isn't it? In determining the geologic time, we can use relative and absolute dating. Correlative dating being this that determines the relative age. It's an qualitative approach and it works better for sedimentary rocks. Hence, only knowledge among the species occurred first, and therefore has low precision, since this scale doesn't use numerical data. I remember when I wrote it. I was sitting beside the doorway because I came in later in time, and the passengers who were sitting at the frontmost end of the seat were those who came in first. I realized that's how relative dating is applied in real life situations, and that's totally the exact opposite of absolute dating, which is quantitative, since it determines the numerical age in which a particular species occurred. Therefore, it is way more exact than the relative dating. Let's hop to an example that will show you better understanding of what we have just discussed about geologic time. A radioactive isotope with a half-life of 30,000 years is contained in a crystal. With that given data, I wanted to analyze it and determine the age of the sample, if 25% of its parent isotope remains. First things first, Hia, you got it just right! Here are the values we got from the problem. What do we know? The given half-life is 30,000 years, and the parent isotope is 25%. What do we want to know then? I want you to know how old the sample is. Therefore, we are aiming to know how many half-lives have already gone by since the crystal formed. Well, because the half-life of the radioactive isotope is 30,000 years, and two half-lives have passed. To get the age of the sample, we just multiply 30,000 years by 2. So then, we get 60,000 years. That's how easy it is. That's it. You got it right. Till next time, stay safe.